Okay, so I'm back with this again with my views and opinions on a Kanika Jenkins death and um, looking back through the autopsy report. So far, I've only been able to read like three pages, so I can only give my opinion based on the three pages that I uh, read and what I was able to really understand because a lot of those medical terms I'm just very much unfamiliar with and... I'm not going to even act more educated than I am. I didn't take the time out to go and look up the definition of them all, but for what I do understand, um, I mean, it's ruled as an accidental hypothermia death, and the autopsy also stated that she had a blood alcohol level of 0 0.0112, and that being with a mixture of what is it, ethanol, and another word that I'm, I think it was, the medication was used to treat seizures, or the ethanol was, but it's spelled T-O-P-I-R-A-M-A-T-E, and that was in her system at the time of death, along with the ethanol, and I mean, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure all of that could leave a long-lasting effect on a person along with the alcohol that was in her system. And just imagine how that will make you feel if your system is not used to that much of intake of something that will have you so impaired. And I'm sure most likely all of that together caused dizziness, confusion, and the uh, inability to coordinate, which is why she was wandering around for over an hour in the hotel but there's no reason to assume that these effects were uh inaccurate i mean i can believe it a person and i'm a full grown adult and with her being just 19 um i don't know just the thing of her being reported after she was reported missing I just don't, I can't quite wrap my mind around how she wasn't found till 21 hours later in the hotel. I just don't get it. And then who would go into a freezer and get locked in the freezer? I just, I just don't get it. It's just something that as much as you try to picture what could have happened when she walked that way that the cameras couldn't catch a view of or the cameras were turned off we just don't know what happened this is just something that we just gonna never really know because the only person who knows the answer could be someone alive or it could only i mean we just don't know and why didn't anyone think to look I mean, all the people in the hotel, I'm just thinking like 21 hours later is when she was found in the hotel, like right there. And you could tell that in that kitchen area that they're showing a lot on the camera. And you see like a cup of coffee or something on the counter. It looked like a jacket hanging up in another part of the kitchen. So, you know, it had been occupied and people had been in and out of there. And I just don't believe that someone that drunk and high would be able to use so much strength to get in there and close it. Like, why would she even want to close the door in a dark area? I know the freezers at my job, it's dark in there. If you go, I mean, unless you just leaving the light on. So if the light was on, I, it's just so many things to question about this. Because why would she go in somewhere where the light is off and she just stay in there, but you see her going in other rooms in the hotel and she come right back out. But she would go in a freezer and stay in there just to cool down. I understand that the body temperature was extremely high from everything that was in her system. But I just don't believe that she locked herself in there. I'm not even going to receive that. I mean, I know it's well with God now and we just have to 
accept it for what it is as of now, but I just really don't believe she went in and closed the door behind her. It had to be somebody to know that she was in there. After a moment of time, like minutes, within 30 minutes is what I'm talking about. And to say they found her 21 hours later, I'm, I just don't believe it. And then, this is a child to me, because I have a 19-year-old. I have to keep asking myself, why would she need, like, that much drugs and alcohol in her system just to feel good? Like, how high was she trying to get? Was she even trying to get that high? Because remember in one of the videos at the party in the room, there's a girl that says, I'm going to give this drink or I'm going to give this cup to that girl over there. And we don't know, like, what was put into the cup along with the alcohol. Because if she didn't need those medications for herself, somebody fixed it up for her. I don't believe she just took all of those things if she had never done it before. So all of that stuff comes into question about this child's death. And I mean, it's just a hard, very hard pill to swallow, swallow, especially when it comes up to a death of someone so young. I mean, this was someone's child. No matter how we may judge other things that happen, a mother is still mourning her child. She probably haven't even really... Like, it probably really haven't hit her yet. When I see her on Facebook or on YouTube or whatever, it seems like it still haven't really hit her yet that her child is gone. And, I mean, she need closure in order to start her healing process. And it's like all of this and stuff and then with the Internet and people like us trying to figure out what really happened that night. But, um... I'm just going to sign out on this for now. Please feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions on it. And thank you for watching.